A few months ago, director Roland Emmerich let us know that he and producer Dean Devlin were developing two sequels to his hit film Independence Day, which would be titled ID Forever Part 1 and ID Forever Part 2, and that they would do the films with or without Will Smith, who is currently holding out. It seems that Emmerich is true to his word and progress has been made on the sequels. Reports claim Emmerich has finished the first draft of the scripts for the two films and has handed it over to White House down and the amazing Spider-Man screenwriter James Vanderbilt for a rewrite. Emmerich describes the storyline like this. While there may be some familiar faces in the sequels, Bill Pullman has already confirmed that he's on board, Will Smith has not, their storylines will focus on a new generation of human heroes, including the stepson of Will Smith's Independence Day character, played in that film by Ross Bagley. It's still some of the same characters, but also new younger characters. It's a little bit more like the sons take over, says Emmerich who promises that the first sequel will have a cliffhanger ending to keep audiences coming back for more. The first one ends on a little success, but only enough to give the humans hope. And then in the second one, they free themselves again from the aliens. It's a changed world. It's like a parallel history. Humans have harnessed all the alien te technology. We don't know how to duplicate it because it's organically grown technology, but we know how to take an anti-gravity device and put it in a human airplane. Schnepp, how does all this sound to you? Mm, I'm sorry, what? Organically grown <laughs> plasma beams. ID forever, right? Is that it? ID? <laughs> Roland Emmerich. He's at it again. ID forever and ID forever part two. Organically grown plasma shields, humans must fight again, then be released successfully, almost success, but then the aliens take over, then come back and see part three. I don't know. Uh, I'll see him. Obviously, I'll go see him because I love the first Independence Day. And Bill Pullman's awesome. Uh, you know, that's one of these, this is one of those films that I just don't even get why they're making it, other than it made a, a lot of money. And the studios are like, yeah, people will go see it. So that there you go. Organically grown. Humans are really, for two hours, trying to figure out this alien technology <laughs> and its parallel universe and how we use it now. I, you know what? Oddly enough, this kind of stokes me. I, I actually like what I'm hearing now. Thanks a lot, Roland Emmerich, for all the spoilers. Now we know how the yeah, first right? one's going to end and how the second one's going to end. Um, I like it, and I've, I've always been okay with the idea of doing Independence Day with or without Will Smith. The, the, the crux of Independence Day was not Will Smith's character. It was the whole context of what was going on. And I love that Bill Pullman will be back. Obviously, he can't be the president again unless in that other Earth, you know, presidents are allowed to have six terms. So obviously, he won't be the right. president this time around. Maybe his son's the president. Who knows? But yeah, for whatever reason, look, let's face it. ID Part 1 and ID Part 2 are amongst the worst titles ever given to any project <laughs> in the history John, of John, don't Hollywood. forget forever. ID forever. <laughs> don't forget the That's forever right. part. ID forever. forever part one and ID forever part two. So, I, I mean, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that these titles will change. But, yeah, actually, overall, I got to admit, against my better judgment, I kind of like what I'm hearing. So let's John. hold on to some hope. Hey, John, I, I just figured out why Will Smith doesn't want to be an ID Forever Part 1 because he talked to Roland Emmerich and he was like, look, Roland, I'm the lead character. I got to kill the bad guy. <laughs> I got to kill the alien at the end. Yeah, Bill Pullman can't kill the alien because I'm the, I'm the lead character. I, I, it has to, you have to show me be the winner, right? <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.